Rating the same trick on different, this should be good. The trick we're rating on these boards today will be the pop shove it. The mm -hmm. first board is the classic skate. See, I always thought it was funny when like, I do these like as a joke, but when people like do them seriously and they like only do a tiny little pop because all their focus is like to the fucking leg spread. Like that's like such a noob trap that people get into. So it's like the whole point of even spreading your legs out like that in the first place is to show that you have like such a mastery over the trick that you can do whatever you want with your body. But if you can barely pop the board off the ground, it doesn't really work. Is the penny board and pop shove it can actually feel really is he popping or no energy on this i had to jump so high and scoop so nice it around it does feel pretty cool once you figure it out so I'm, I'm gonna give this this one a 10 because this is the one where he's actually like honest as a skateboarder it a six out of ten <laughs> next up is how do you decide what score this one was horrible because ripsticks only move one direction so landing you have to start going the other direction it was bad two out of ten and that is trying the same trick oh perfect loop is that true nah you can't really go backwards on a ripstick it doesn't work okay the same i want to see more johnny ringer content i've never seen this dude before what's up beginners and posers um should we keep watching or no what what i think Oh, bitch ass mosquito! It is true that not all beginners are posers, you know? I saw Larry Lanza did his Jankum thing, and he conflated uh. being a poser and being a beginner. Poser implies that you're trying to be something that you're not. That's what the, the word means. Being a beginner, you can be an honest beginner. That doesn't make you a poser. You're only a poser if you're sort of like claiming to be something or acting in a way that you're not. It might be kind of poser if you don't even know how to ride a skateboard yet to buy like a palace t-shirt and big boys and, and dunks and like a fucking all-timers beanie or something and then go skating. I think that would be construed as posing. Um, but if you go out there in, in athletic shorts and running shoes and you're trying to learn how to ollie, then nothing could be further from being a poser. I received a hype train emote, thank God. I just woke up. Dude, that's... Vlogging? The craziest thing about vlogging is that you have to, like... <laughs> What's up, Jakey Babies? Literally just woke up. Every time I watch a John Hill video, I won't shut the fuck up about John Hill until he says he's gonna kill me. And until John Hill sends me a photo of my domicile from the inside, <laughs> then I'm not gonna stop talking about him. Shut the fuck up, or... <laughs> or next time you come home, I'll be in your shower. But first... Outfit of the day. Outfit, outfit of the day. So at top we got the Stussy long sleeve. Not bad. We got the. That thing's probably like a hundred bucks. Polar big boys. That thing's definitely a hundred bucks. Paid a hundred twenty dollars. For... Then we got the Shadow Dunks baby. Man, he is like full NPC mode. I fuck with it though. <laughs> I'll make a TikTok. It's gonna be like skater's biggest fear or something. I don't know, but I'll show you guys some behind the scenes. You know what? I like this guy. He he's keeping it real. He doesn't even like <laughs> he doesn't even give a fuck that his camera is completely crooked that I'm getting like fucking vertigo just by looking at this. Look at the horizon line. Oh <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no saying hell to the three year old. Whoa, what is going on? This guy is nuts. <laughs> Lying down in a parking lot, he talked to a four-year-old. His grip tape says DADDY on it in all caps. You're gonna soil your Stussy long sleeve. What? Oh, <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, this guy is fucking badass. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He's recording himself making an embarrassing TikTok. That's awesome. Honestly, what even is my life? Thanks. Dude, as somebody who used to do this, I have a whole TikTok account of me doing very similar shit. Um, cause that was how I first started. Like, cause I knew TikTok gets you algorithm. You get algorithm boost. That's how you get a following on YouTube. That's the easiest way anyway. So that's what I did. I used to do shit like this. He's managing to like, oh fuck. Fucking awesome sticker with the painted nails. He's he's doing it all. He's like no no like sub genre of skateboarding is off limits to uh, Johnny Ringer. He has a hundred and twenty seven k. Jesus. 
round. So we're gonna try to get the kick Wait, did they make you wear a mask at Etnies Park? When was- Oh, this was May 5th, 2021. Okay, that's why. Almost. Alright. I wanna watch his TikToks instead of this. Johnny, I'm afraid a porn star is gonna pop off. Oh, wow, it's suggested. Uh, if you guys want to talk about poser stuff or like beginner stuff, I think that the fucking infatuation with, with grip tape is being like a metric for your skill level. Once you actually learn how to apply grip tape and you know how to do it, like you really don't give a fuck what anybody else's grip tape looks like anymore. People are always like policing grip tape and stuff. I remember like one time I put on my I, my grip tape. Uh, this was an epic lie I, I said as a nine-year-old. I, I put on my own grip tape. I did a horrible job because I ordered it from like blankskateboards.com and I like put it on with scissors and some kid came up to me and he was like, what happened to your grip, dude? And I was like, oh, a girl did it. <laughs> oh, a girl did it, obviously. There's no way a girl could put on grip tape. Wasn't me with kitchen scissors. But yeah, now I like almost do an intentionally like low effort job on my grip tape to like prove a point you know yeah i've been doing this for like fucking 15 years or maybe longer and i like could give less of a fuck it got so quiet didn't it it'd be hilarious if he just blasted it with a hose i'm not really feeling oh he's back I, i'm not really feeling the color of his nails this round what do you guys think what does it say? Stepsis? Yeah, I didn't even realize that's what it said. He likes to write horny stuff on his grip. By the way, this takes a long fucking time. One time I wrote Starbucks on my grip tape, and that shit took like an hour and ten minutes. It is weird how there's like an obsession with putting sexual stuff on the top of skateboards. Like, like boob grip. You guys are at five. The yellow bumps He's done five of these? We're just gonna go flying, so... Wait, this is exactly what he was saying one year <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, there I am. <laughs> I was just saying that, like, this, he said part five, but he's doing the same exact thing that he, he was doing in 2021. So I'm assuming, every, like, the five parts are just the same thing five times and you'll easily that's true i three hundred and fifty five hundred thousand million likes the most banal <laughs> uninteresting subject matter pebble tiktok here's five ways you can avoid a pebble is the power slide oh that was badass that was fucking awesome that's a little more advanced though that is Things that skateboarders are scared of. Is that just me or does he like, you have a little zest to his walk? He looks like one of those, uh, fit guys. The guys that like showing off their fits. And that is, things that skateboard- Okay, I actually, dude, this is crazy because I tried to make this TikTok when I was, when I was doing TikTok. Different ways to get up a curb and then I was, I ended up trying stuff that was too hard. <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Three, a curb on a skateboard. Nice First shoes. Is with the beginner poser way and this way works to get you. Dude, I thought we agreed earlier, Johnny, that beginner and posers are not the same thing. I thought that we were on the same page. I think I gave him too much credit. I'm scared of big bootied women. <laughs> you got a lot of demons these days, dude. I can't even open my Instagram explore page without being sexually harassed. You know what's fucked up is like when you start a fresh IG account, they like just hit you with ass immediately. They're like, this is probably what he wants. It's like, what if, what if, what if I don't want that? You know, I'm not saying that I don't like looking at it. I'm just saying it shouldn't be like the fucking default. And if you click on one of them, that's it. It's going to take you like six months to repair your reputation as far as the algorithm's concerned. They just keep trying to beat you down and get you to submit to your fucking primal desires. Nose manual the rest of the board onto the curb. Uh -huh. Next up is... Dude, this guy gets fucking views, bro. Skating and having fun on... <laughs> weird obstacles part the spot looks super fun to skate so not even this spider infested bush was gonna stop me yes, sir pretty light on
his mom commented. Holy shit. I have a gift for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what is it? I don't know. What the heck? It kind of is wait, is he a, is he is he like is he like you and I or is he kinda looks like a skateboard. Really? But I doubt I doubt it. Oh what a Whoa! what a Woo! Chad. Whoa, it is a skateboard. <laughs> Merry oh Christmas. <laughs> what? Why'd he just do that to his mom? What the fuck? He just cool guyed the shit out of his mommy. He didn't even say thank you. She spent $95 on a golden hockey board. She's like, son, I have been seeing that you're painting your nails. I know what this means. In the year 2022, it doesn't mean your child is even remotely questioning their sexuality. It just means they want a Jason Dill product. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that that safely indicates. <laughs> this guy is fucking nuts. He like he like scoffed at her. <laughs> Gave her the ironic heart. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for the board, bitch. Plot twist: it's grilled cheese. Yeah, that that would be funny. <laughs> Dude, this kid has it all. He have supreme boxers too. See, I grew up. My mom was like. My mom definitely had some money when I was younger and like the different parenting approaches are, are interesting because like I think this kid obviously it looks like he comes unless he buys all of his own shit which I, I doubt but like you know when you see like a, a, a rich kid and their parents will buy them like whatever the fuck they want whatever they're interested in like to the point where like if they're into skateboarding like their parents are buying them like supreme boxers and shit. My mom had money, but she wouldn't fucking buy me anything, like, that was nice. Every every shoe had to be on sale, and I got pressed about it every single time why I was breaking shoes so much. Clothes were, like... And I'm not complaining, by the way. I was pretty lucky in the grand scheme of things, but um, it's just funny, like... Because I had a friend whose parents... I mean, his parents were probably wealthier than mine, but they gave him whatever the fuck he wanted. He was always dripping. Like, he was wearing Kobe Bryant jerseys and dunks and shorts when he was, like, fucking 13. Um, I actually think you kind of fuck... I, I, I'm thankful that my mom did that, actually, because I think if you give your kid a bunch of cool shit when they're younger, it, it messes their brain up. I don't think you can appreciate stuff properly when you get older if you do that. He could have found the, he could have found the supreme undies at Goodwill. <laughs> then I did a 360. No. Dude, his shirt says "sus boy" on it. Did. Some people in my last my comments on my last video were giving me shit for being chronically online, which I agree with. I will agree with that. I do spend too much time on the internet, and maybe I seem like a fucking asshole psychopath in real life. I should work on that. But I've never worn a shirt that says "sus boy" on it. I will just say that. Susboy was peep stuff. I'm sorry. I like I like Lil Peep. I fuck with his music, but that shit is cringe. Susboy. I'm not apologizing for that, dude. That's weird as hell. Susboy with like anime stuff. Uh, I got a peep tattoo, dude. That's fine. Uh, you say I don't give a fuck. Everyone has their own taste. I like Lil Peep's music. I think he's cool. I don't think that wearing a shirt though that says Susboy is cool. Unless your tattoo says sus boy, in which case, I'm sorry that <laughs> I'm sorry that that happened to you. Next up is the rip stick. Oh, that was sick. Only has, so it's really easy to oh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, what's a, what's a, what's a 10 then? I think it's lanyard. That's nice, beast. But there's not much place for your feet, which is difficult. So this one. There's not much place for your feet. Okay. Oh, let's watch this. My skateboard just broke. I he wrote DILF on the last one. <laughs> what a fucking god, man. So you know what that means. It's time for another skateboard setup. ASMR, baby. Oh, he's, he, he's setting up a Ben K board. What? I'm, I'm so, like, confused. At this is the board this guy is choosing to skate. Denial of existence?
What do you, what did he write on top of this one again? Big Dick is back in town. Wow, he made he makes it look easy. Wow. I'm a little turned on right now. I don't know about the rest of you guys. Cock and ball torture on your grip tape. Skate park review with Johnny. Yeah, I think also in my I, my last video, it seems like people didn't realize that like Brian and I are cool. Like people thought that we like are kind of beefing or something or that, that we have like a weird dynamic. But like I was just giving him shit, you know, because he like puts me in his thumbnails and shit. So maybe that was lost on some people. The comments see yeah, I like I was actually to be honest, I was like spiraling yesterday. I mean I was kind of a dick in that video, I will I will totally like say, but I don't think I was that crazy, you know? I think seeing me interact with like other people was kind of a mind fuck. There wasn't enough skating. I agree. I agree. It was very hot that day, um, but yeah, I definitely needed to. I need to, needed to skate more for sure. See what also what happened is I didn't include any of this because the files got rearranged. But we played like three games of skate, which was just fucking the worst idea ever. Um, we should have played one and then that been the end. But Brian kept making me play, and he's so fucking good at skate. It's annoying. You got hot because you put on that sweatshirt Brian gave you, dude. That, I, oh, I was thinking uh, of a good tweet. Uh, can't wait till winter so I can really start dressing. What is it? Yeah, some shit like this. I'm gonna do this, but then like post the fucking late club tee or long sleeve. Oddly, I think that writing stepsis on this Ben K denial of existence board is kind of badass. Do I post booty pics on Patreon? No. Only only local Joe hit pieces. That's the only thing that's on there. There are certain tiers, you know, of, like, skateboarding social media, like, concepts. And this guy is at the bottom of the pyramid. He is doing five things that skateboarders are afraid of and then ollieing over pebbles. Um, it seems like he's been doing this for a minute. But his views, oh, my, oh he lives by me. The process behind landing one of the most difficult skateboard tricks that I have ever done. Basically two tricks and one jump. I'm pretty good at doing kickflips, but the hard part was the late shove after I catch the kickflip in midair. This is the first one where I landed on the board. Dude, look at that Nike beanie. Holy shit. My ass. This one I landed, but I fell on my ass. This one <laughs> I fell on my ass too. <laughs> <laughs> fell on my ass here. Oh, well, also here and here as well. I overspun the late shove on this one and it fell on the side of my ass. I pretty much fell the same way on almost. This was another one that was pretty close. Oh. And so finally, I got the landing. Trick took me like three hours to land, but it was definitely worth it. That was badass. From the local homies, and that is the process behind landing one of the most difficult skateboard tricks. He loves the looping, dude. He can't get enough of the. Oh, he lives in OC. You better fucking believe that me and Johnny Ringer are collabing. I, I'll, I'll give Johnny Ringer this. He fucking commits. If there's anything I hate about watching myself skateboard is how big of a fucking I am. I'm such a lazy sack of shit. Like, I rarely put myself in harm's way. Um, this guy fucking tries to land on his board. Like, he's essentially jumping in the air and just rolling the dice every single time. Which is sick. Things that posers do that just don't make sense. Wearing skate brands. There's that wear them don't even like how it looks and they're just wearing whatever they can to look as much like a skater as possible. And trade out all their clothes they have and swap it with head to toe skate brands. Up in all their I just wanna say that this guy owns all of these garments. I have three pieces of thrasher gear and I I don't worry, I'm tasteful with it. I wear I wear one at a time. Some days I wear the Thrasher slip-ons. Other days I wear the white Thrasher dad hat. Does Thrasher sell this? <laughs> Calling out posers with daddy board grip by your side is an incredible incredible piece of irony. Uh, I, I'm kind of, it's kind of growing on me, the, the daddy stuff. Most of also, like, even I don't think it makes sense to say, we're now going to psycho, we're going to analyze this guy's uh what posers do TikTok. I don't think it makes sense to say that posers don't even like the way stuff looks. They just want to look like a skateboarder. Well, obviously they like the way that it looks. 
because they like the way that a skateboard lo- skateboarder looks. So it's like it has a little incongruent there on your logic, but it's just small, small nitpick of mine. Users that wear them don't even like how it looks, and they're just wearing whatever they can to look as much like a skater as possible. And to top it all off, once they're dressed up in all their skate brands, they're gonna head to the gram, throw on a filter, and post it for clout. But at the end of the day, they're really- Unbelievable, dude. I can't believe that people are just getting away with this. That they're just getting away with posting their pics for clout? That they're using skateboarding? For clout? Unbelievable. On the gram. What filter was that, by the way? That was pretty sick. <laughs> this reminds me of that that video of that guy who's like, you must be a Walmart expert. It's like, oh, I've never taken a photo and put it on Instagram for the clout, but you seem to know a lot about that. You must be some kind of clout expert. Um, I love this. Walmart version of Justin Bieber. Aww. I wish I could tell you what they sell at Walmart, but I've never been there. I've never <laughs> shopped at Walmart. But you seem like a Walmart expert. <laughs> you probably shop there, don't you? You prop Oh, I hate that guy. Shut up. Um <laughs> It's so funny, he's hiding, fucking fighting the tears from rolling down his face, like, I've never, you must be some kind of Walmart expert. <laughs> Walmart expert. <laughs> Walmart expert. That's what I'm gonna write on my grip, Walmart expert. It looks like pen ink, yeah, it don't look real at all. But at the end of the day, they're really just helping these brands make more money, so, who really cares? Where the fuck did you get this? What is this? By Mischief? Oh, so it's a hype beast thing. Oh, okay. I get it. It's kind of a cool object, because it looks like a Grand Theft Auto, like PlayStation 2 game or something. Oh, my does it hype beast mystery box for his twenty dollar mystery box? What's inside blurred money? You can put something in it? Real or is it fake? Whoa. Whoa, how'd they do that? Because this looks really cool. Welcome back to what's inside. Today we're going to see what's inside some blurred m- Who- who- <laughs> What psychopath in a fucking DX Racer gaming chair is editing this, man? Welcome back to what's inside. Today we're going to see what's inside some blurred Dude, YouTube is so fucked up. I- I need to stop editing my stuff so much. Like, it's not good. It's just designed- at this point, a lot of these videos are just like long-form TikTok where- they try to just stimulate your brain and not give it even like a quarter of a second to just be in fucking neutral. There always has to be something like bing bong, bing bong, bing bong the whole fucking time. It is crazy. Like the web of visual effects and, and music and just general fuckery on the screen, like neon lights in the background. It's fucking crazy what entertainment is now. The money. Yeah, this money right here is not- See, as soon as- <laughs> As soon as this kid stops talking, they immediately have to start zooming in. Right here is not- Just so that the, the screen is not static for one millisecond. Not blurred. A... OMG, please just watch the glue video. 